is up, my magic miscreants. Risen Dragon here with an announcement of sorts. One that, uh, if you had told me in May of this year, I would be making in septem late September of 2024, I probably would have been like, you're crazy. I can never see myself stepping away from Magic the Gathering. It's brought me so much uh, as far as fans and content creation and education and... It has been a, an, a, a part of my life. I wouldn't say an integral part, but a part of my life. Games are a huge part of my life. But this one was one that I did not see coming. And it was one that took me a little while to come to grips with. So basically, let me explain what's going on. So basically, two things are influencing my, my, my video today. And... I think that what it boils down to is right now Magic the Gathering is not really an interest of mine. It's certainly a game that I love to play. It has given me so much, like I've said before. But it's not an interest right now. I haven't been keeping up with it since Bloomborough. And yeah, it's only two sets, but if, if I don't keep up with it, you know, I've found that this is a game that you really, really have to keep keep tabs with to to really stay involved and I just haven't been doing it and it just th there hasn't been a motivation for me to do it quite frankly I think a lot of it comes down to set design Bloomborough while it had that you know kind of you know feel to it like it was a Don Bluth sort of uh set it was you know the the, the fantasy was still there but with Duskmorn, I took one look at that set and I was like, I, 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 I don't have any interest in playing that. It's just, it didn't appeal to me. And I think just trying to capitalize on kind of the Stranger Things phenomenon and, and all those sorts of things, I, I think that's kind of where my brain went. I fell in love with Magic back in 7th grade, which was like 1995 because of the fact that it had a lot of the fantasy qualities to it and it was just such a unique game. It still is a unique game and I love playing it. It's just right now, it's not an interest of mine and it's interest with me wax and wane. As my dog weighs in on this. She's not happy with me either. But that's neither here nor there. So anyways, as I was saying, Wa uh, <laughs> interests wax and wane for me and right now it's not an interest and as a result I haven't had the motivation to do content creation I did a video about a month ago on mono white life gain and I'm just like this is something I've already done and I started looking at all the sets and I started looking at all the decks I'm like I've done all these sets I've done all these decks I'm like rehashing old ideas and adding new twists to them but it was just kind of one of those things where it was like, you know what? This is just becoming kind of a grind and I'm not really liking it. So that's part of it. That's main reason number one. And number two is the fact that I have a new interest. And that is, of course, Age of Empires 2 Def Definitive Edition. And right now, as I did when I started to learn chess seriously about 16 years ago, um... I've just thrown myself into it. And chess is a game that is is like Magic the Gathering. It, it, the interest waxes and wanes. And um, that game, though, with chess has definitely brought me a lot uh, of, of happiness as well and, and a lot of accomplishment. But with these games, you know, when I'm learning a game, I throw myself into it. I learn as much as I can about it. I try to apply it as much as I can. And Age of Empires is a tough game like it is a humblingly tough game i won my i won a bunch of, of like quick play matches and then you know kind of honed my skills on you know the ai settings and went in and you know took on the ladder won my first game i was like yeah really super confident and then i've lost every game since so uh nine on the ladder and i'm also in a tournament uh the aoe specialist cup which you're gonna see uh videos of that coming up um, uh, probably from my, my, my last round match coming up uh, in a couple weeks. But uh, the point is, is that I've thrown in 
a lot of interest into Age of Empires, and uh, this is also a game that has quite a bit of nostalgic value to me. It was a, a game I got into when I was in, in college, didn't really learn how to play it right, and uh, now I have the opportunity. It's almost like chess. It's like I, I didn't learn it the correct way, but now I'm learning it and trying to apply myself. So uh, certainly when you have a game that kind of takes over your interests and focuses it away from something you're already interested in but something that it was i was losing interest in magic the gathering to begin with like outlaws of thunder junction was kind of like that was the set for me like i loved that set i do love that set and then once i saw what was coming with bloomborough i'm like all right i could get behind it when i saw dusk morn i'm like no I, I i can't do it i i don't like the concept of it it just doesn't appeal to me if it appeals to you great but it, it did not appeal to me so this past weekend, I was kind of, I, I think I finally realized, you know what, I haven't done a video in like a month. And I realized, I'm like, man, I'm really just not into this game anymore. And I vocalized that to my wife, who who I love to death. You know, she, she's my favorite person. She is my person. And she, I, I talked to her about it and she said, well, it's just not an interest of yours anymore. And that's fine. You have a lot of other interests. And I'm like, yeah, that's absolutely right. So I think with me, the interests kind of have a hierarchy at times. I'll be really interested in chess for a little bit. Then I'll be really interested in another game. So unfortunately, Magic the Gathering is just right now on the lower tier of interests. So I, I want to say... I don't want to say this is not farewell for this is farewell for now. It is not farewell forever. It is farewell for now. Who knows? Maybe in a month or two, it'll I'll be tired of AOE and I'll be like, hey, I I wish I never left Magic the Gathering. But uh, for now, we're just going to take a break from Magic the Gathering. We're going to focus solely on uh, Age of Empires two, um, and the content that comes from that. I'm a part of a tournament called the AOE Special AOE Two Specialists Cup. Which you're gonna have, some, we're gonna have some uh, video coverage of games in that tournament, including some of my own in the coming weeks, and that is something that I hope you can all look forward to. I appreciate you all as you've joined me on this journey. We started with Magic: The Gathering. We're branch, we branched out into AOE. Maybe we can find a balance at some point, but for now, AOE two is the interest. Magic: The Gathering has taken a back seat, as has the content creation. And I kind of feel like right now is a good opportunity to just take a break for a little bit from uh, Magic content creation and kind of stick with uh, Age of Empires 2. So if you, if you like what you heard, please like, please subscribe. As always, my Magic Miscreants, I'm going to be on this journey with you. I'll keep up with the trends as much as I can. I'll, I'll watch videos whenever I can, but... I'm on this journey with you. Thank you for being a part of mine. Risen Dragon is out. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay tuned, everybody.